So we've covered how workflows are tied to events, such as when a new tweet is tweeted or a Discord message is sent or an HTTP request is received to your HTTP endpoint. Sources are the origin of all of these workflow triggering events. They can catch, pull, or listen to events coming in from a third-party service or an HTTP endpoint on your account. Then they will notify any subscribing workflows that a new event has been detected. You may not have realized it when you made your first set of workflows with Pipedream, but you created sources every time you created an app-based trigger. I'll show you what I mean. So starting with a brand new workflow, let's add a Twitter-based trigger. We'll click the Twitter app, and then we'll search down for the search mentions. Now we can connect our Twitter account. I already have my Pipedream test account added, and I'm gonna search for just any tweets mentioning the keyword pipe dream and we'll pull it every 15 minutes just to start. Now you may notice it says create source. So when we click this button, it's going to create a source that powers this trigger. Now that the source has been created, we can look into our sources area, of the dashboard. So we'll navigate over to the left hand side and we'll open up this new sources submenu. And here we can see it created a brand new source from our workflow. This is very similar to the workflow inspector, where on the left-hand side, you'll see a list of all of the events that have been detected. And there's even a log section where you can read all of the logs that the source created, such as when it last ran or any kind of console logs coming from the source itself. And then lastly, we can look at the configuration, which is the actual code that powers this source. All of the sources in Pipedream are open source, so you can open the code, modify them. On the far right side, you'll see the current configuration of the source. We can modify individual props, like the search keyword, the geolocation of where the tweet was sent from, etc. And we can also change the polling interval of how frequently we ask Twitter for new tweets. Now, for those who don't know, Polling means to ask a service for new data on a certain schedule. So for this particular source, we're asking Twitter every 15 minutes for new tweets that match our search criteria. The opposite is like a webhook where the service will tell us when new data is coming in and we're just listening for it all the time. To really drive this point home, I'm gonna show you another way to use a pre-existing source in your workflows. So let's go ahead and revert this workflow to have no trigger at all. And instead of selecting the Twitter app and then going through search mentions again, I'm going to use this option to use one of your existing sources. This will list all of the sources that are available on your account that are emitting events, and we can just reuse it. Now we've set the trigger to reuse a source that's already been created under our account. Sources are extremely powerful. You can even listen to sources without using a Pipedream workflow which is the subject of a different tutorial, but they are a core concept to understand how Pipedream works and how workflows subscribe to events.